Red Hawks coach Jack Owens after another great win for the Red Hawks tonight. Coach, we'll let you make some opening comments, and then we'll open it up for questions. Yeah, the, the guys, I'm just proud of the, the effort that they uh, put out to start and to finish the game. We came out ready. Obviously, we made shots um, in the first half, and they carried over to the second half, knowing that BG was going to go on a run. They're a good team. Uh, but I'm just proud of our guys. You know, like I told them, you know, our season's not about winning two games in a row. Our season's about being one of the better teams in this league. But, it, 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 you know, we have to continue to work and get better. But I thought guys did a great job. Obviously, Day Day Grant did what he did tonight. Makai Lowry was still steady. Delonte Brown with a double-double. Uh, my Jay White is one of the better defenders in this league. His stuff is not showing up on a stat sheet, but, man, he he made Turner work for everything. And, you know, he's just a team guy. And then, you know, James Beck, when he wasn't in foul trouble, Eli McLemore, all you know, it was a, just once again, it's a great team win overall. And I thought Precious Aya uh, did some really good things to, to end the half, and Milos did some good things. I, I just think you see a team – you know, if we continue to practice and play games, uh, just going to continue to get better. You know, I'm just proud of their effort, and hopefully this is something that, you know, we can stay healthy and just continue to build off of. With, uh, with Eli and – well, Eli fouled out. Beck was in foul trouble. Uh, I think Gaia's contributions were just, you know, off the charts for you tonight. Yeah, I was, on, I was on a pickle there. You know, you had Eli with four, James with four, and Precious. You know, he, you know, he did something to his foot there after he got an offensive rebound. You know, uh, I think the putback was blocked. So I was like, okay, I got to make a decision if I'm going to go with Eli or James. And I just stuck with Eli because he had, he had just scored a basket. And I was like, hey, man, you know, one, you know, one of them's going to foul out. Let, let's just continue to use them back and forth because I was going to get him out the next media. Uh, but he fouled out. And then James was going to come back in. But we put pressures in because it was just too much time uh, to put James back in around that six or seven minute mark. And then he fell out and then we just have one uh, big who had played uh, tonight. So, but Precious was big time. I thought he did some great things, um, you know, getting offensive rebounds, but his ball screen D and his command is what we want early, loud and continuous. And then obviously he went and got some rebounds late. Coach, uh, in that second half, uh, you mentioned Bowling Green going to make the run. They got it down to eight, but never got any closer. You never let them get over that hump. And that's a tribute to your guys because it wasn't just Day Day Grant in that second half. It was Mikhail Larry, Delonte Brown late. I mean, your guys seem to always have the answer, and it was through sharing the basketball. Yeah, you know what? I, we have a skilled team. You know, you look at our team. You know, we can put five guys out there that can, all can dribble, pass, and shoot, and that's what we want. You know, we, but at the same time, it's just not one individual or just guy just hunting shots and, and not saying that's the way we play. We just have a team of guys who believe in themselves and in each other uh, where they're going to share the basketball and try to make the right play. And, 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 you know, BG went from man to zone, and I thought our guys just did a great job of getting the ball in the high post against their zone, but also utilizing their dribble and spraying the ball out. So, you know, we just got to continue to play the right way. And, and, our, and our guys are definitely believing. I just think, you know, the best basketball is ahead of us. We continue to practice and play games. But we have an NBA schedule going on, so it's not a lot of practice right now. Um, did you have any sense at all I mean, that, that your guys were going to come out and shoot the lights out like they did in the first half, especially jumping out to that 9-0 and 21-4 lead? You know, we've done this before. You know, we, we've done this in games before, and, you know, uh, we've talked about, hey, why let a team back in? Uh, you know, keep, keep, keep your foot on the gas. But, you know, good teams can go on a run. But let's, let's continue to fight and go on our run as well. Uh, but, but, yeah, our, our guys, you know, we, we do a lot of shooting in practice. And, uh, you know, they're taking shots in rhythm. And, and, and I want them taking open rhythm shots. And, then, you, know, and I'll, you know, if it's a, um, a guy who uh, penetrates, the, the middle of the zone or um, the offense and kick out and they get a rhythm open three, we want that. Or if it's the hockey assist where it's one more, uh, we want those guys taking those rhythm shots and also not just selling for threes. We want them busting closeouts with our skill. Coach, you mentioned the uh, NBA schedule. Uh, you uh, hop on the bus tomorrow and head to Ypsilanti to take on Eastern Michigan. Um, 
but uh, knowing you like I do, you'd rather do that than have another delay or something like that. This is what you're really looking for is some consistency and the ability to play these games. Absolutely. You know, first of all, I thank God for these opportunities in this day and age. But uh, what's on what's going on? Um, yes, we just want the opportunity to play. I think, you know, if we can continue to play and have some consistent play. Uh, we'll be fine, you know, but, but like you said, Bake, you know, uh, we're going to dive into uh, the scouting report tonight. I've watched, I've watched Eastern Michigan a little bit this morning, uh, today rather, uh, against Buffalo uh, before we played. And um, I know they, you know, they, they had their traditional zone and they extended their zone a little bit with the one three one. but at the same time, you know, we're going to dive in it. Uh, the guy's going to enjoy this win tonight, but we'll try, we'll get them ready tomorrow morning, jump on the bus and, be ready for a 5.30 game on Saturday. Schmetz asked this question of Day Day a little bit earlier. It's a game where you really didn't let your foot off the gas. Do you feel like this is one of the most complete games you've played this season? Yeah, yes, I definitely do. I, I think uh, this is a comp- was a complete game. Um, the way we played, I believe we had 20 assists and the, the defense, you know, uh, both halves was good, but we came out offensively sharing the basketball, making shots. But, but you know what, we're going to continue to grow and get better. I, I think there's some room there where, you know, they were able to get – um, you know, offensive rebounds two or three times. If you get those rebounds, we, you can open up even more. So uh, we're going to continue to work and get better, but this was our most complete game. But also this is, you know, you're talking where we knew we were playing and we we're, we're, we could, you know, really focus in and get ready. And that's what it's about. You know, hopefully we can continue to grow and get better. Uh, but I do love this team and the way they play and love on each other. We're here with Day Day Grant after a career high night as the Red Hawks beat Bowling Green. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Uh, Day Day, I think I know the answer to this question already, but I'm gonna, it's better if you say it than if I say it. Was that y'all's best game of the year? Um, to be honest, I'm not going to say that's our best game of the year because we haven't finished playing yet. But that was one of our greater games so far that we played as a team, to be honest with you. You guys jumped out to that nine to nothing lead and you were like, you made nine of your first 13 shots. Um, did you have any kind of a sense that you were up for that kind of a start? I mean, did, was practice real good or the pregame shoot around good? Or did you have any kind of a feeling that that was going to happen? Well, our communication has really been off the charts um, as far as as a team in practice and through the games. We've been sticking together a lot, a lot more. So that's really been helping us, and that's really been paving the way for us so far these past two games and how we've been looking. You personally, you come in with you, – you finish with 24 points, uh, a single-game career high, uh, especially against a team like Bowling Green, which was a preseason pick to win the MAC. How big is that for you personally? Um, it's pretty big, yeah. I have very high standards and goals set for myself, but I don't let that get outside of myself in the realm of me and my teammates. So I just continue to play ball with my team. and Whatever comes out individually for myself, that's what comes. But as long as we win, I don't really care what I have. I have zero all across the board. There were five guys in double digits day day and, uh, you know, really balanced scoring. And, and you mentioned it, your communications is off the chart, but – each of the last two games, th- this has been a team victory. I mean, you had the career high tonight. It was James Beck uh, the other night. But it's five guys, whoever's on the floor playing together. It, it seems like this team, as you mentioned, is really starting to come. Whereas, yes, we're definitely gelling together. And Coach has said this and been harping on this since the summer and since we got here. Anybody can lead us any given night. It doesn't matter. As long as we stick together as a team and follow our game plan rules and stick to our principles, of the defense that he has set for us, we'll be just fine. That's what we're growing to learn and continue to do. It's been a little bit hard to be able to get into a rhythm with games being canceled and having big pockets of time. This is an opportunity this week to play three games in five days. How does it feel to be able to play those back-to-back-to-back games? It feels good. It it dwells on your legs a little bit, but, hey – you get to play basketball, man. That's what we're here for. So, Coach always tell us you it can come and go this year. Corona is deadly and different. So, 
every game we got to take advantage of it and try to play our best and do our best.